This is going to be a short comparison video of my new uh, Breda 92X Performance and its main competition, which is the uh, CZ Shadow 2. Now first, we'll talk about uh, my likes and Dick's likes of the uh, 92 performance. First off, I admit I'm a big Beretta fan. I always have been. Uh, I carried a Beretta 92 FS Inox for the last 10 years of my police career and it served me well. So uh, uh, the 92 platform is just uh, one of my favorites. Now when I got this pistol, the initial uh, range outing, uh, it shot well. It's wintertime cold so I'm all over the place but uh, one thing I noticed about it is that uh, the trigger pull, I always do this with snap caps, the single action trigger pull, good, crisp, with a fantastic reset but it just seemed a little bit heavier than a lot of people were reporting. Uh, on a couple of YouTube videos, guys are reporting three and a half pounds, and mine was closer to a uh, little over four and a half pounds. Yeah, the double action was very smooth, so no complaints there. But what I uh, ended up doing after watching one of Ernest Langton's uh, videos on hammer springs, I decided to uh, switch out the hammer spring, so I ordered an 11 pound and a 12 pound hammer sp spring from uh, Langton Tactical. And I installed, this comes with a Beretta D spring by the way, which is usually around 16 pounds. And uh, I tried my uh, 12 pound spring in at first. Uh, the, the 12 pound spring brought this down so much. I was so happy with it, I didn't even try the 11-pound uh, spring. Now, a lot of people say, well, 12 pounds, it might be too light. So my last range outing, I uh, tried five or six different types of 9mm ammunition through this. Usually I shoot Federal, Full Metal Jacket, or Syntec. This, isn't, this is just a range toy for me. And uh, that worked out fine. I uh, tried some NATO ammo, HST, just uh, about five or six different brands, and I didn't have one light hammer strike. So anybody that wants a lighter trigger than stock, I could uh, highly recommend Ernest Langton's 12-pound chrome silicone springs. They're wonderful. Now the only other dislike about this pistol is the rear sight. You notice how it overhangs the hammer making cocking of it. You can still do it but it's just not as easy as I think it should be. And the profile of the sight looks like somebody dropped it and pushed it up. I just don't like the way it looks. Compared to my CZ, look at the rear sight of this. It doesn't overhang the hammer, and it, it, it just sits lower. So I was trying to put a fixed sight on it, and I uh, bought a Wilson Combat Battle Sight of the appropriate height to match the uh, front sight. And I discovered that the uh, dovetail on this is uh, a lot larger than the standard dovetail of a 92 so that didn't work. So right now I'm awaiting Brett or somebody else to come out with an appropriate size fixed sight. And uh, then I think this pistol will be just about perfect. Now comparing it to the CZ, this is a wonderful pistol. And I feel the main competition for the Beretta. And those of us that own the CCs 
know what a nice pistol it is. The single action pull of the CZ is not quite as crisp as the Breda, almost. Just got a tiny, tiny bit of movement. But it, it is lighter. Now the double action pull, extremely, extremely smooth. But I feel the Breda, especially with the 12 pound hammer spring, it's, it's different. I, I, it's smoothest, they're both equal. Uh, single action, the trigger pull on this is still lighter. Double action, the pull on the Breda is definitely lighter. I, I just wish uh, somebody would come up with a, an adjustable sight that is uh, more like the uh, CZ rear sight. I'm, I'm sure there'll be aftermarket sights for the Breda and uh, one that doesn't overhang the hammer, one that doesn't look like somebody dropped it and bent it upwards. And this is only uh, Beretta's first new steel fine pistol, actually since the Millennium. And after I was talking to Beretta reps at the uh, NRA convention in Indy, and they said they're going to be coming out with new models of this. I'm sure they're going to come out with a single action model, I'm sure they're going to come out with a model with a uh, safety decocker on the uh, on the slide, and uh, they might even come out with some service type models. So we shall see. But all in all, great pistol. It's a worthy addition to the Breda collection, and uh, they're going to sell all these. They sell. Some people are complaining about the grips, but uh, I'm sure Lock Ultimate. And a few other com companies, when these get more of these get out of the wild, will be seeing G10 grips for it. Just like with the uh, the CZ, and I, I happen to like the aluminum grips. A lot of people uh, don't. On some of my other CZ, I put uh, lock grips. So there'll be aftermarket support for the Breda also. That that's my short comparison video. Hope you guys like it. Uh, look forward to seeing your comments in the. Uh, comment section. Thank you.